So hello everyone in this tutorial we are going to see how you can transform from a particular character to another character in Unreal Engine and this is going to be very very easy tutorial to follow and you are definitely going to enjoy it and one more thing actually I am suffering from fever so my voice is little different so I will say you try to cooperate I am sorry for that so let's get begin. So here I am using this animal pack for my secondary character which is free in epic games show you can just use this if you want or you can use your own character. Now what we are going to do I am going inside my third person character because I am going to make this as my primary character here you can go on with your own player character if you have and now what we will do here we will go inside this add and we will search for a new skeletal mesh and add it here. And this new skeleton mesh is going to be our secondary character and under this skeleton mesh select your character which is going to be our crow. You can use your own or any other character that you want and adjust your character as per your need. So it's time for adding an emission inside our this secondary character. So I'm not going to cover up the complete blueprints animation blueprints of my this crow for tutorial purpose I am only using a simple flying asset animation here you must create a blueprint animation for your secondary character I am using the simple default assets here and now let me show you how it's looking so you can see that we have our both character at a particular I mean at a same time so we have to do something for this so let's go ahead so here select your secondary character and at left hand side search for visible and untick this you will find that our secondary character is now invisible now what we have to do go inside your blueprint and what i want here that when we will click a particular key our secondary character just get active and our primary character just get deactive so right click and search for any key that you want i am using f key and from this key get a flip flop now drag your primary character in your graph and search for set visible connect it with a again search for set active now drag your secondary character copy the both visible and active node and paste it here set target to our secondary character connect the nodes and tick the new visible and new active now what this is going to do actually soon i will press my f key my primary character will unvisible and unactive and my secondary character will become active now we will copy over this complete code from here and we will paste it uh, downwards and we will connect this with our v and we will just tick our primary character and untick our secondary character okay so now let's give it a try compile and save this so now let's jump into our game to see whether it's working or not so i will press f yeah i just converted into a bird I am pressing F I am back to my normal character so now you can even add the movement inputs if you want to change something in the moment but I am keeping it default for right now because I only want to tell you how this transformation work now what we will do I am thinking why not to add some particle system here but to be honest I will not recommend you to add a particle system for this transformation because if you will add transform animation that will give a more advanced look to it but right now I don't have any transform animation so that's why I'm using a particle system here so what we will do here search for a spawn emitter at location and select explosion or any emitter that suits for you and you can play with the scale value if you want now for this location come to our viewport and add an arrow this arrow will not visible in our game so don't worry we basically use this type of arrows for getting a location of a particular place so we are using it now drag your arrow in our event graph and from it search get world location and connect this get world location with our emitters location now copy our this system and paste it uh, here i mean downside and simply connect the nodes compile and save it and let's give it a try so here you can see that if i will press my f key a particle is spawning and i am just transforming from my character to this bird and this enough for this video in this video i'm not going to cover the flying mechanics and all because it will make our video quite longer so i will cover that in our next part of this so so stay tuned and you can subscribe me for getting the notifications and you can also join our discord server if you have any query related to this you can ask me in the comment section and make sure to subscribe bye bye